Right, hello bees. I thought I'd do a quick update and show you what I am playing around with today before it starts raining because finally we're due to see some rain, hopefully. Probably wonder what is going on here. What's that timber? Well, I've had another change of heart. So you see, I got the sheets, right? The metal ones, which I wanted to... Well, I didn't want to have to go through the process of actually having to assemble them. But buying them already, you know, the size that I need is impossible because, you know, this is a very old size. And you yeah, have come to the realization I had to put it together. But then I started putting it together, started welding around that end. And um, it was only at that point that when I, you know, when I tried to lift it, that I realized this is not going to do it. You know, it is going to be strong, but it's way too heavy. Well... My bad back, right? You know, God forbid I come here on a day when my back is killing me. Well, I can't open up these covers. And, uh, yeah, not good. So, I've had to improvise now. So, this is good because this is pretty solid and very heavy. And that is going to go for the stairs, which we're going to build just right there so it can get onto the platform and access the warehouse bit. So... This material is gonna is gonna come in handy quite you know quite soon anyway. But I've decided to um, use what we have, or at least you know some of it, <clears throat> and um, create these covers out of wood. So you see, we've got all of these big beams over there, right? So what I've started doing is I'm just gonna create that timber frame around there. I'm gonna treat the wood. Um, as you can see, it's black bit around the side that's been treated you know obviously the inside i've just cut it and i've just laid it down just to make sure you know i've got the right sizes etc but um yeah i just gotta cut it all up treat the wood assemble it and then i'm going to run a few more uh wooden planks across and then come around this way and this is gonna become all wooden i'm just gonna i'm just gonna smack some smack some hinges onto it a padlock and yeah happy days it's probably going to be probably going to be a fifth if not even more i mean you know less the weight of what that would have been so yeah that's what i gotta have to do for here as well as for that one over there oh a new chainsaw so yes guys i'm gonna get cracking before it starts pouring down it's all coming together I really hope it got this gonna rain. It's gonna save me some water in tonight and be nice. I've just treated, you know, the wood that I spent you know, quite some time this morning cutting up. So just gotta let it dry up now. And hopefully later on tonight, if the weather allows it, I'm gonna come back here and start assembling the frames and then look at how much extra timber I'm going to require to complete, you know, the sets. Something I forgot to tell you. Um, you remember I told you the other day that I was waiting for the electrician to come around while I was playing with Bean down there. Well, he did come around that same evening and it's all done. As you can see, the canal I've now, you know, pretty much covered it all up the last couple of days. And yeah, we've redone the electrics inside that box. And then now we've got another cable running down through here. This is all I got left to do here. And voila, we've got electricity in here. Over there, we're going to have a nice big hose. And over here is going to be the pump and all of the stuff that needs to be, um, you know, with the pump. Um, I'm still not sure. I'm going, to, I'm going to trust the professionals on that one. As if, what kind of pump would it be? Would it be the one that's going to stand here and it's going to have a pipe going down, which is going to suck up, you know, the water, you know, the water up, or would it be one of those ones where you would have the actual pump going down, and then you have a tube coming out, you know, basically the other way around. So we'll see. I'm still waiting in for them to basically fit me in their diary. I thought it was going to be this week. We spoke today. It seems like they're going to have to push me to next week, which I'm not very happy about, but that gives me enough time to assemble the covers and build the necks. You probably wonder why on earth have I got these down here. Well, the reason being is because I'm going to use that additional cement 
a little bit that I've got sitting over there. I'm going to tidy up afterwards once I'm done with the building sides. Okay, I know it's dirty. Let me just sit down whilst I'm talking. Right, so in case you wonder why I've got these going around there, well, it's because when you've got concrete that has already dried and you try and add in more concrete and you are effectively hoping to create something that is going to last well it's not that's why you start pouring concrete you gotta finish the entire thing pretty much in one go um yeah so that's why i've got this i've created this frame around the side which i have bolted as you can see into um the concrete and the idea is, is that i'm going to use these as you know um the base around which I'm going to use the additional concrete or cement and just going to build this little bump around it okay and once I've built around it I'm then going to slap whilst it's still like wet I'm going to slap the big covers that I'm building at the moment so it will take a nice flat shape around you know all around I mean and uh, yeah it is going to sit very nicely the water is going to be going around the sides and yeah happy days guys okay well i'm gonna let them dry up for now get all of my stuff back into the family van feed these beasts i gotta go check on, on the other little beasts because he's been alone for, at home for a few hours in his cage all right, hopefully he's not gone totally mental, but uh, we'll see. All right, guys, if I come around back tonight and start assembling these frames, if the weather allows us to say, I'll let you know. But um, if not, that's it for the time being. I'll speak to you in a bit, guys.